so I'm often asked by by uh, architects or, or building owners um, whether they should conduct a, a wind tunnel study of cladding pressures. And, and there's two reasons for, for doing this type of testing. Um, one is that um, we're not able to incorporate the, the wind climate by just using the ASCE code. Um, uh, code basically makes us treat the entire building um, with the same pressures, uh, whether it's uh, corners, roof, uh, interior wall. We have to use the same pressures all over the building. When we do a wind tunnel study, we're able to do a uh, study of the local wind climate and meteorology, and we can incorporate the wind directionality into uh, the pressures that, that we measure in the wind tunnel. That way we actually have a, a good measure of the kind of distribution over, over the entire building. The second big piece is that in the wind tunnel we model the exact geometry of your building and all of its complexity. Um, as well as incorporating the complexity of the proximity uh, buildings. And by doing this, uh, we're able to get the, the actual pressure distribution all over, over the building. Uh, the combination of these two things does two, two things. One is we're able to increase the reliability and resiliency of your design, and we're able to, in general, um, reduce costs, at least in, in specific uh, areas uh, of your building.